Hello there you sexy beast, I am Vadi1, welcome to Skyrim Mods Boobs and Lubes, a Skyrim mod review that has a story. In the last episode I was turning into an Argonian and I kinda wanna find a way to permanently stay as a human. Now before we start I also asked you sexy beast in the previous episode, what is a good old armor for my lovely Avlin, my follower here? should wear. I got a lot of replies and I decided to go with the Devil Made by Meister aka Neo Vinci which was suggested to me by Dali Vista. Devil Made comes in three colors, black, white and brown, even though brown looks more like red and orange. Anyways, I picked the Devil Made because it looks very mischievous, mysterious and naughty. It has superb detail and textures that you will see in a few moments. The black and white devil maid is pretty much the same armor, it has the same engravings, the same embroidery, the same exact armor pieces except one has a gold and black color scheme and the other has a gold and white color scheme. Simple enough. Now the red one is the slightly different one for whatever reasons. The red one, well excuse me, the brown one has the same engravings, embroidery and the exact armor pieces except on the back side we have a very long ribbon with some dingly danglies at the bottom. On the front we have the same thing, we have a ribbon with some dingly danglies hanging off the boobs. Which by the way is an excellent under boob I might add, mm -hmm, yes indeed excellent. The armor also has a second version which provides more cover and a bit more beefy. We have additional shoulder armor hip armor, and a dye ban. Now right now it looks more like an armor and less like a bathing suit. And for the second version there's also a tailed variant that we can equip to make ourselves look even more devilish. But yeah, I have uh, quite the erection, quite a hard on for the detailing and quality of the textures. We have some fancy gold engravings, fabulous looking leather, and elaborate designs etched into the leather. We can see all these qualities on the entire armor and it is quite fun to take a look, a closer look at everything on this armor. The knit fabric on the sock on her leg is one of the best fabric I have seen. Overall I wish we can uh, take a closer look at this armor more but I think we should move on to the next mod shall we? Alright. Continuing on with the story, I think we should look for a dragon to get some help because a dragon is wise and all-knowing and maybe he knows of a solution to my problem, to cure me. So I don't know, uh, let's go to Windhelm or something and uh, start searching for clues to find a dragon. And it looks like Windhelm is doing quite well indeed. Snow City, the great expansion of Windhelm by Reindeer51 and BJS. 336 expands Windhelm by adding new areas outside and inside of Windhelm. The first area we will take a look at is the docks, which we can find by going down this wooden scaffolding. At the bottom we have a fisherman area with nets and fish. And then over here on the stairs, the footsteps, we have a handicap ramp. Yes, handicap people can be fishermen too, you know. You just gotta believe. The new areas are also inhabited by NPCs that hang out, live and work there. The first building we're going to take a look at is the Sailor's Rest. Inside we have a cozy pub and bar where all the fishermen hang out and talk about their catch of the day. Alright so let's go find and talk to the owner. Oh, a room for 10 gold, oh wow, an entire day? I don't know, I only need like 3 minutes if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, okay, anyways, uh, seriously, anyways, uh, let's uh, take a look at the rest of the dock. We have a couple of piers, some other buildings, clutter, some boats, and a few guards here and there. Now these buildings, we can go into them, but uh, we don't really have time for that. So uh, right now, let's go up the stairs, and at the top, we can find the entrance into Windhelm that leads us straight into the next new area. In this next area, we have a few buildings immediately to our left and right. This here is the hidden gem which we will visit later. And then on the other side we have a storehouse. Now this area is mostly an extension of the marketplace of the vanilla Windhelm. 
It has a few tables, merchant stands, and a few more buildings on the side that, again, we don't have time to visit them all because there is quite a lot of buildings and they all have NPCs. Yes. The next big change is the residential area. There are a few dozen new buildings behind the existing vanilla buildings. You can enter every building on the street and again, there are NPCs that populate these areas so they have a bit of life in it. Now we won't be going to all these houses again because there's quite a lot of buildings, no time, but if you are curious you should really download this mod and explore all these new areas yourselves. Yes, yeah, not to mention that there are some areas that we haven't really covered. But anyways, uh, I think we should move on eh? Alright, we gotta find those information on the dragon. Well then, let's go to the hidden gem and try to find some scrolls that might know where the dragons are. Ah, here we are, a nice pile of scrolls. Ray Textures for the scroll by QLB introduces a way to tweak scrolls the way you like it. There are 4 paper textures for the scrolls and 5 different patterns for the paper. Right here is the mod installation. The first choice is single textures and after we select that, we can choose one paper texture such as default, wet, wrinkled, and old. Now for each of the paper texture, we can choose which pattern to use. We have the blood pattern, arcane 1 pattern, arcane 2, ruins 1, and ruins 2. So yeah, we have quite the selection here, we have uh, like over 24 choices here. Okay, so right now we are going to go back and uh, select the next choice which is single set. So right here we get to choose the paper texture that also contains a mixture of every pattern. So that means you could choose any one of these paper texture and it contains blood pattern, arcane pattern, uh, ruins pattern. So it contains all of it into one pack. And then we're gonna go back again and we can select the mix set and for the mix set we can choose to have a mixture of every pattern and every paper together or a mixture of just every paper but without any pattern. So it's pretty crazy to be able to fine tune and tweak how you want the scrolls to look like in Skyrim. Isn't this great guys? Well then, let us take these scrolls and be on our way, shall we? We have a lot of scrolls to look over to ascertain the location of the dragons. But of course, they are kind of useless to us since they are spell scrolls, they don't really contain actual knowledge, so yeah, we're kind of sued out of luck here. Hmm, perhaps maybe we could put out some bait and hope a dragon comes by and takes it. Yeah, and I think that's a better idea. Useful Dogs by Sagittarius22 will make us not want to sacrifice a dog to lure a dragon out, at least not a useful one. So how does it make dogs useful? Well, um, behind this dog we have 5 chests. Now if we go over here to this chest, we have a chest that contains a pair of striped panties, along with gold and consumables. Now the other 4 chests only contains gold and consumables. Now the fun part begins. We're gonna walk over here and we're gonna talk to our dog. And then we're gonna select listen to me. And now we can have our dog scavenge things for us. We can have it scavenge a key, a ranged weapon like a bow, potions, food, arrows, weapons and armor and so on. So right now let us select the armor since panties is considered an armor, right guys? Alright, there he goes, there he goes, that's my boy. Yes, it knows, it's sniffing out the panties. <laughs> yes, it's probably easy to sniff it out since it's soiled panties. Yes, it's, he's now going to bring it to us. Okay, where, where's the panty boy? Give me the panty. Hmm, come on, oh, I guess not. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 so let's try this again. This time we're gonna use a weapon. So the same deal, we're gonna put this glass dagger into this chest right here. Now the other chest does not have any weapons, it just has consumables and gold in it. So right now uh, we're gonna do the same thing, uh, we're gonna have our dog search for a weapon this time. Okay, there he goes, there he goes, again he's going straight for the same chest that has a weapon in it. Okay, let's see if he's gonna bring it to us. Uh, come on boy, come on boy, spit it out, come on. Come on, you're a good boy, aren't you, yeah? Alright, that's a good boy, okay! So we got our glass dagger, so that's exactly how it works. 
Now maybe the dragon doesn't like dog, so let us get a horse for good measure. Maybe the dragon's in the mood for horses. Immersive horses by 7 cards allows you to have greater management over your horses. The best way to describe the mod is that it works similar to like a multi-follower mod that you use to manage multiple followers. When we interact with our horse, it brings up a horse menu. We have quite a few options that we can select and we're going to be taking a look at a few of these. Now the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the whistle option. With the whistle, we can whistle for the horse so he will come to us. Okay, here we go. Yep, there he goes. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing he has to take like a pathway to us instead of jumping two feet onto our level. <laughs> okay, yep, any second now. Okay, yep, there he is. So yeah, you can pretty much whistle, use the whistle anywhere, and your horse will come running for you. Isn't that cool? The next thing we're going to take a look at is setting the aggression level. So right now, we're going to be setting it to the highest level, and then right now, we're going to be spawning some skeevers. <laughs> oh god damn! So the horse right now is stomping the hell out of these skeevers. Oh man, that's vicious. Oh man, I wonder if the horse is infected with rabies or something. Jeez. Okay, now the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is the confidence level. Right now, we're going to set it to coward. And before we spawn some skeevers, we're going to set our aggression level to the lowest because otherwise it's going to confuse the hell out of the horse. And there he goes! Look at him running away like a chicken! <laughs> what is he, a horse or a chicken? The horse can also trample and knock down enemies as well. I, I mean, it's very satisfying to see your horse knocking down someone and stomping on their nuts. <laughs> yeah, stomp him in the nuts. I think we should make the horse a little bit more attractive for the dragon. Craftable horse sparting by 7 cards will pimp out your horse. The mod introduces 12 new horse armors. There is a wide variety of style, theme, and colors. The horse sparting can be crafted at the forge, but they are kinda scattered into different categories. It is also compatible with immersive horses, the previous mod we just looked at, and all you gotta do is stick the armor into the horse's inventory. Now having a horse is kinda like having a car in real life, you gotta upgrade it with some swagger, so you can show all the peasants out there that you are the dragon bar, not some commoner. The horse armor has some decent textures on most of the armors, and uh, whether it is metal scales, the chainmail, metal plates or leather pouches, they all look quite fantastic. Now I think my favorite horse armor is the Divine Barding since it matches with the white demon maid outfit quite well, as you can see with the white and gold color scheme. Okie dokie now, uh, right now we have a dog and a shiny horse right here on top of the mountain. Now hopefully the dragon will show up and uh, munch on these animals, yeah? Yes, that would be fantastic. And finally we can ask him, how can we turn back into a human permanently? Anyways, I am Vadi, well, I hope you sexy beasts enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Mods, Boobs and Lubes, and if you did, bang that like and subscribe button. It would also make me very happy if you check out my non-Skyrim videos, and if you do, I will have your babies. <laughs> yep. Uh, anyways, stay sexy my friends, stay sexy.